हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन मोर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ लर्न इट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर ऑफ योर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो टुडे विल बी टेकिंग टॉपिक वन ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर वन मैटर इन अवर सराउंडिंग्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर विद एन इंट्रोडक्शन नाउ एवरीथिंग अराउंड अस फ्रॉम अ सिंपल पेंसिल अ पेन फ्रॉम अ टेबल द फूड वी ईट and the clothes we wear the walls of our our houses all of these things which means everything is made up of matter now what is matter what is the basic definition behind it is it is anything that occupies space and has mass and offers resistance to any kind of force which is applied on it matter is used to cover all the substances and the materials from which the universe is made so finally matter is everything which is present around us is consist of have mass which will occupy the space and will offer resistance to any kind of force which has been applied onto it now let us move to the next segment which is of matter now ancient indian philosophers the matter is made up of five different constituents or which is also known as tatvas in hindi the five tatvas are the first one is the air which is known as vayu in hindi second is earth which is known as prithvi in english hindi third is water which is known as jal in hindi fourth is fire which is called as agni and fifth one is called as sky which is known as akash so all these of an matter now let us move to the next segment which is the what matter is made up of so basically the matter is made up of or comprises of very small particles and all the matters which can be broken into similar manner to get very small particles and all matter is made up of small particle so let us divide this particle into two categories so the particle when divided comprises of two things one is known as atom and the second one is known as molecule so the matter is made up of particles and particles are made up of two things one is atom and the second one is known as molecules in the next segment we'll be talking about the properties of the matter now as we all know that all the matter consist of small into atoms and the molecules so to understand the characteristics of this matter or the properties of this matter kinetic theory of matter now in kinetic theory there are four points so i'll read it one by one and then we'll understand the first is all matter comprises of small particles second is these particles or this matter third point is the particles are continuously moving and the fourth one is the particles attract each other now as we can understand first point all matter comprises of a small particle that we have already studied in the previous topic the second is important which says that these particles is in between them when we are seeing any kind of matter if it is in solid liquid or in gaseous forms every individual particle will have a space in between them next is these particles are compactly packed but all the particles are continuously moving in whatever form they are if they are in solid form also liquid or in gaseous forms the continuous movement of particle is there the last point particle attract each other so this is called as cohesion force or attractive force which lets these particle to attract each other and then move continuously so now we have moved to the last segment of this topic which is the topic 1 and we will be discussing about particles of matter 
आर इन कंटिन्यूस मूवमेंट एंड इन वॉट काइंड दिस पार्टिकल्स आर इन कंटिन्यूस मूवमेंट सो बेसिकली द पार्टिकल ऑफ मैटर शोज थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मोशन सो द फर्स्ट वन इज नोन एज ट्रांसलेटरी मोशन नाउ लेट मी डिफाइन वॉट डू यू मीन बाय ट्रांसलेटरी इट मीन्स वेन ए पार्टिकल मूव इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन चेंजिंग डायरेक्शन विदाउट लॉस ऑफ एनी एनर्जी on colliding with other particles on the wall of the container the motion is called translatory motion now what these kind of motion happens in what kind of thing it is maximum in gaseous form and the least in solid form when we compare these two things with the liquid form i'll repeat it again what do you mean by translatory motion when particle move in straight line changing direction without loss of energy on colliding with another particle or the wall of container the motion is called translatory motion now let us take the second kind of motion which is rotational motion as the word says the particles are moving around their own axis which means is and then we are rotating it will be called as a rotational motion this kind of motion is similar to the rotation of the earth like how our earth rotates around its axis rotational motion will be high in which form in gaseous forms and it will be low in the liquid form as compared to it with gaseous form now we'll be moving to our last segment which is known as vibrational motion now these kind of motion the particles have to move true and fro which means forward and at a mean position which means on a single position if a body is leaning forward and coming backward leaning forward and coming backward these kind of motion is called as vibrational motion the motion is maximum kind of matter it is in solid matter as the particle are held in very rigid structure or a very tight structure so the particles of matter is vibrational motion i hope you might have understood these topics very well if not i urge all of you to again repeat the video and watch it again you can also note this topic down as your notes so that you don't have to refer the books we at learn it are working hard to bring you all the easy and simple learning materials which can enhance your learning and listening capabilities if you are finding hard to understand any of the topic or want to know something in detail you can comment your questions down below in the comment section if you like our work please give it a thumbs up and if you want to get updated of our new videos do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from the channel For more of such kind of updates stay tuned to the channel stay healthy stay safe and fit bye bye